What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another showdown breakdown for tonight's Monday night football game between the Cleveland Browns and the San Francisco 49ers, courtesy of Awesomeone.com. It's been kind of a wild week five, and hopefully you guys survived it so far, but let's close it out strong for this Monday night football game. And right now, please hit that like button, and also comment your slate breaker down below. Thursday's video had a lot of success, and I hope you guys had some this weekend too. Let's keep the momentum going, and right now hit that like button and comment your slate breaker down below. But as always for these showdown breakdown videos, let's start with the quarterbacks and the first guy to hit on is Baker Mayfield at San Francisco in a game in which there are 21.3 implied points for Cleveland. Mayfield has been a disappointment this year with a 59% completion rate and particularly poor accuracy when pressured with a 50% accuracy rating and a 43.4 QB rate. San Francisco has generated a middling pass rush with an 8% sack rate, but they've deflected 25% of passes attempted while holding QBs to a 57% completion rate, all things that don't bode well for Baker who's been over his head this year. And we have Jimmy Garoppolo versus Cleveland on the other side in a game where there are 26.3 implied points for San Francisco. Garoppolo hasn't attempted a ton of passes with only 28 per game, but he maintains a nice 69% completion rate, but a 4.8% INT rate that poses some concerns. Cleveland has a poor 55 graded coverage defense by PFF with just a 68 grade in pass rush, so Garoppolo should be kept clean in the pocket, a situation that bumps him up to an 85% accuracy passer with a 101.3 QB rating. And now onto the running backs in tonight's Monday Night Football game, and Nick Chubb looks interesting at San Francisco. Chubb has 23 touches per game with 5.1 yards per rush and 2.3 red zone rushes per game. And that volume makes him tough to fade with a solid floor as well as some upside. San Francisco allows 3.4 yards per rush on the year and has yet to allow rushing touchdown this season, but they're just a 71 graded run defense by PFF, so Chubb's volume should be enough as long as the game doesn't get out of hand. And on the other side, we have Matt Breida and a whole lot of other dudes versus Cleveland. Breida is technically the lead back with 15.3 touches per game, but without much red zone work or passing game work, he's hard to lock in like Chubb is on the other side. Additionally, Tevin Coleman's status remains up in the air and would affect Breida, Raheem Mostert's 13.3 touches per game, and Jeff Wilson's absurd 6.5 red zone rushes per game in a situation where all these guys could produce against the 4.6 yards per rush that Cleveland allows. And now let's talk about the Cleveland receivers at San Francisco. Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham run roughly 37 routes per game, and while Beckham has more targets per route and a higher target share, Landry's been an elite yards after catch receiver with 4.7 yards more than expectation. San Francisco's secondary has been top notch with an 84 coverage grade from PFF, but Odell Beckham likely has the toughest matchup against a rock solid Richard Sherman outside. So Jarvis Landry, Ricky Seals-Jones, or some of the returning Cleveland wide receivers like Rashard Higgins or Antonio Callaway could see opportunity as a pivot play off of Odell. And on the other side, we have a ragtag group of San Francisco receivers versus Cleveland. Arquise Goodwin leads the wide receiver core with a low 20.3 routes per game and just 2.7 targets, while Debo Samuel has seen 4.7 targets per game on his 19 routes and more red zone involvement as well. George Kittle remains the best projected receiver play with a 25% target share, but he only runs 21.7 routes per game, and that could give him a scary floor at his high price. And last but not least, we have the sneakily important defenses and kickers in the showdown slate, and let's start it with San Francisco versus Cleveland. San Francisco's defense likely has higher potential with Baker's accuracy issues and a very solid secondary that deflects 25% of opposing QB passes while allowing a low 283.3 yards per game. And Cleveland's defense on the other side versus San Francisco could be worth some ownership as well. Garoppolo's errors with his 4.8% INT rate could offer some opportunity, as could Cleveland's 10% sack rate, but the high team total for San Francisco doesn't feel like Cleveland's D should be worth much exposure. And then of course we have the truest stars of showdown slates, the kickers. Robbie Gould seems more appealing given San Francisco's team total and the higher likelihood of them moving the ball downfield with ease. But Austin Siebert projects just behind Gould as a value and raw points play. So there you have it. That's what I'm seeing so far for what could be a bit of a messy Monday night football game between the Cleveland Browns and the San Francisco 49ers. So please show a little love and right now hit that like button and also comment the guy you think is going to break tonight's Monday night football slate down below. And as always, go ahead and use this promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first month of any Osmo Plus package. Go to Osmo.com slash join and find packages as low as $3.95 a week. Ones that include ownership data for the showdown slates as well as player projections. So go check out what you can get right now at Osmo.com slash join. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'm doing content for the NFL pretty much every day of the week. So you can always find something new and fresh for me, new and exciting as well. So go check out what I'm doing right now on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I'll be back on Thursday with another showdown breakdown. So two Tune in then, of course, and I'll be back with you guys very soon. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button before you go, and good luck.